Hi, today I have interesting problem. In this problem we have one genetic disorder that is caused by uh, another genetic disorder. And today's problem is an individual with Turner syndrome uh, and afflicted with the X-linked recessive trait. Nystagmus is produced by parents that are both phenotypically normal. The individual has a brother that is also afflicted with nystagmus and uh, a brother that is phenotypically normal. It is a parental or maternal X that is missing in the Turner syndrome female. How do you know? So uh, I encourage you to stop video here, uh, try to analyze this problem and uh, maybe you need to draw a pedigree of this family and when you would be ready you can uh, run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And let me start to uh, explain this, uh, how to solve this problem with drawing a pedigree. So we told that uh, uh, this female has uh, two parents that is phenotypically normal. So here is uh, her mother and we connect with her uh, father. And both these parents are phenotypically normal. And here is a, a female that is affected. And this female uh, also has a Turner syndrome. And that means that she has only one X chromosome. Or we also can abbreviate it as XO. And uh, usually it's also notated as um, 45 X. So we know that uh, one chromosome is missing and uh, phenotypically this is female because this is one X chromosome is present but another one is missing. So uh, this uh, female also has two brothers that uh, one would be phenotypically normal and another one would be also affected. So um, let's now consider whose X chromosome uh, she received and let's for example think uh, can this be from her father because her father has a X and Y chromosome and her mother has X, X chromosomes, so two X chromosomes, and uh, she can get uh, her chromosome that is uh, have a defect for uh, nystagmus gene. And nystagmus is uh, when someone cannot control movement of his eyes. So movement of the eyes would be sporadic and jerking. And uh, we see that uh, both of her parents are normal. So this means that uh, her father cannot donate uh, this X chromosome because he is as his daughter that is here would be uh, also hemizygous. So that means he has only one X chromosome and any uh, disorder on this X chromosome, any recessive genetic disorders in this case would be um, dominant because only one X chromosome present and uh, such recessive disorder would, wouldn't be balanced with a normal gene. So uh, as long as her father phenotypically normal, so he cannot donate this X chromosome and this defective X chromosome uh, only can be donated by her mother. So this would be a defef defective X chromosome. So we know that uh, her mother donated this X chromosome and non-disjunction during uh, conception was uh, on the uh, her father's side. So he gave uh, sperm that were uh, for, uh, 25 chromosomes missing one chromosome. So he uh, didn't give her X chromosome at all and the only one X chromosome 
that this uh, person here uh, that receive uh, only from her mother side and uh, as you see one of her brothers here uh, phenotypically normal because he got Y chromosome from his father and uh, he got this normal chromosome from he, uh, his uh, um, mother but this person here got uh, Y chromosome from his father and he got uh, defective X chromosome from his mother so uh, in such cases when we have a recessive disorder uh, mother would be always a carrier and phenotypically normal as long as uh, disorder would be recessive and uh, half of the half of her sons would show this disorder because they can get uh, X chromosome uh, whether it can be this one so the in this case the son would be phenotypically normal or 50 percent chances that uh, he may get this chromosome and in this case he would be phenotypically uh, uh, would express this uh, genetic disorder that is recessive but as long as he don't have normal X chromosome to balance this genetic disorder he also would express it and uh, if uh, this female would got uh, this normal X chromosome from her father she also would be carrier and uh, she wouldn't express this genetic disorder as long uh, uh, as like her mother but due to non disjunctions she got not 26 uh, chromosome from her father including X chromosome but she got only 25 chromosome excluding this X uh, chromosome so she would be phenotypically um, uh, phenotypically female with only one X chromosome and uh, any genetic disorder that is present on this uh, chromosome here uh, any genetic disorder that is recessive would behave like uh, uh, dominant uh, genetic disorder so this is all for today thank you for attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video goodbye